The poultry industry have been using paper pads for probably around 30 to 40 years. And they've served us well. With the paper pads, we've been able to drop the temperature typically during hot and humid weather, 20 degrees. In some areas where it's drier, we can do 30 degrees. So they've done a really good job of being able to cool the incoming air, keeping the temperature for the most part in the low 80 degrees. In our houses with our air speeds of now six, seven to 800 feet per minute, 80 degree air, 82 degrees, air speeds of that high, we can keep even our 10 pound broilers pretty dang comfortable in our houses. And the nice thing about it is it's a very green system. It's no air conditioning, it's just water. Just the simple of evaporation of water as it moves through these pads does a tremendous a job of being able to cool the birds at a relatively low cost. So the pads, paper pads have done a, a great job. They're probably their biggest flaw is in those areas where we have poor water quality, where we have a very high pH, which tends to turn, take the pads and turn them soft and they just fall out of the system. Or farms like this, where we have a very high mineral content in the water. And once we get the mineral built up on the pads, there are ways to treat them. Usually it's using a very strong acid, a high pressure washer, and that can help to remove the minerals. But on a paper pad, since they're made out of paper, that can actually destroy the pad. Other areas of the country, maybe in some primary breeders they, where they want to make sure that they, quote, essentially sanitize the air coming through. Some people are looking at running some type of a sanitation solution over the pads to help disinfect the air to some extent moving through the air. On those farms, paper, you know, those materials might destroy the paper. So the advantage, what we're starting to see is that people in areas that have the poor water quality that are interested in being able to sanitize the air or something to that extent, the plastic pads actually offer a, a solution. Now, historically, the problem with plastic pads is they cooled less. Um, and as a result, people were sort of hesitant to put them on, but some recent innovations in plastic pad design, um, based on our research on this farm, what we have uh, seen is that they can cool, properly designed and installed with the right plastic pad, they can cool very similarly to a paper pad.